Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 46, and this is war number 4. And we're going up against an alliance called Hell's Bells 2. Alright, let's take a look. Who did they ban? Hercules, my Magneto! No! And, um, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Alright, okay. Let's see uh, what they got planned then. If they ban those guys. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is one of the jerks. So every single one on my path is a global defender, as you can see. Look at this. Look at all the global defenders. Okay. And that's how they want to do it. All right. Well, and, and here's the nasty thing about this. The attacker tactic don't really help all that much. It really don't. But that's okay. Because I got something for them. So I'm going to be bringing in OG Iron Man. You know why? Because he can now block mutant unblockable attacks. So he's definitely coming in for these two mutants here. And I may use him also for that apocalypse. We'll see. And now we've got to deal with Scorpion. That's going to be annoying. That's going to really be annoying. I'm definitely going to bring in a, a Poison Immune Champ. Um... I could bring in, I could bring in Claire. I'm not sure. Right now, OG Iron Man is the only one that uh, I'm thinking. Because these two don't even benefit from the node. So I can just bring in somebody to counter them. Uh, and these two don't benefit from the node. So I can just bring in counters. And it looks like OG Iron Man can counter three of these guys. So I just got to think of who I want to bring in. I might just bring in uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury um, can probably nuke him down before uh, I get taken out. Yeah, I might do that. Nick Fury, OG Iron Man, let's see. Who they got here? Ugh. Nick Fury could probably do that fight too. As long as uh, Nick Fury was healthy. Okay. And let me see. Is there any... Could bring in, well, no, we'll see. I might get assigned to that one uh, with the OG Iron Man. For some reason, <laughs> if y'all saw Last War, I was like, man, I don't want to um, overwork one guy. And what happens? Instead of getting assigned... Uh, that would use my Hulkling, I got assigned to use um, Corvus again. And he took like almost every fight in there. It was it was annoying. Anyway, um, this one, no, that's Incinerate and Shock. Yeah, this is annoying. You know what? All right, OG Iron Man, Nick Fury, and then we will see um, who else I'm going to bring in. Because I could bring in Hulkling, but 
I don't really see where Hulkling, you know, is going to really help all that much. Might be better to bring in uh, another nuker. Oh, they don't care about um, diversity, looks like. I've also heard um, that a lot of alliances are not even pushing because this meta is just so crap. They're not even really pushing or, or being all that serious. So it might be that they just put up a strong defense and, and that's it. And they're not going to even worry about it. They might have me, uh, let's see, the same basic attack. Nah, that wouldn't be good for Nick. Well, actually, it would be. It's not uh, special, and all they get is um, special attack damage. Yeah, Nick Fury could do that fight. Let's see what he does. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, I'm going in with Nick Fury, OG Iron Man, and Odin. I was asked to bring Odin for the pre-fights. Now, I'm going to show you how stupid and how potentially expensive these wars are. Now, you notice that our opponents just laced the place with um, defender, uh, global defenders, okay? The attacker tactic does not really help, all right? And the way that the attacker tactic works, you're supposed to intercept them, and then you have a chance to be able to block, but guess what? you're going to still take block damage. So OG Iron Man, as you're going to see, can block unblockable specials. So the attacker tactic, this is how it is supposed to work, but he has it built in, okay? So I, I want you all to see the difference in this war, okay? Um, and you'll see I brought Nick Fury, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Now, in the offseason, I actually had to do this so I know what was going to happen, all right? But we've got Storm. She's a mutant. I've got OG Iron Man. And let's, uh, let's see. I wanted to uh, get another um, boost in. Now, this boost, the reason that I'm doing the combat regeneration boost is to try to counter act the damage, the block damage that you're going to take. It, it's, it's like un, unavoidable. Let me move over a little bit here. All right, so we're going in. All right, just regular fight here. Once she gets a bar of power, you now have these two daunted. All right, and you have a percentage chance per daunted to get rooted okay and for the special to be unblockable that uh, special wasn't unblockable look at my health i have not gotten hit okay just look at this this is ridiculous now it's unblockable but i can block it look look at my health guys half my health is gone and i didn't even get hit that's stupid. That is ridiculous. Okay? So now, guess what I got to do? I got to heal up. Guess what that costs? Okay. So, I'm already not liking this. And it looks like our opponents understood this. And back in the day, sometimes our opponents would... Um, they would just try to make the war costly so that if you did win, it would cost you. And you might just say, you know what? It's not worth, uh, you know, it's not worth all that. All right. So here we go again. Now, this fight is a little different because I have to manage those spores because they, they hurt. And then, of course, you get rooted so you can't get away from him. And if you try to go in... You got to still watch those spores. And look at this. Now I can't move. I can't get away from the spores. Look at that. Ridiculous. 
And y'all know how I feel about Root, right? I'm, I'm not happy with this uh, season. So that's why you see me. I'm, I'm now starting to do um, heavy attacks to keep him away from me. Okay. And then I'm going in. All right. We're going to build up to a special two. Hit him with that. Look at my health. Just costly. That's what they wanted to do. They basically said forget all about the um, diversity. And let's just put up defenders that are going to be annoying with this um, global attacker, you know, global defender um, tactic. Now, I hope Kabam is listening. I know. But maybe they will fix the uh, attacker tactic so that it's actually useful. You know, Um now, what you see here, what I'm doing right now, um, I'm going to use a nuker. I'm going to use Nick Fury. Because trying to use, a, you know, an attacker that benefits from, uh, I think it's sturdy, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So, as you can see here, I'm going to be dealing with this guy. Now, watch. So I go in. All right. And by Nick Fury, by the way, is ascended. So look at that. Look at that health just disappearing. Now I'm rooted. Okay. But fortunately, I did not get the unblockable or else that would have been a lot more of my health gone. And then we got him down. So just getting somebody that can nuke him really fast. Even if I had gotten hit with an unblockable special, Nick Fury, I would have survived and still been able to take him down. So, next up, and this fight, I was concerned with. Because I know Big Daddy Apaco here can put down some good block damage. And he's a mutant. And if he's unblockable, because he is a, a defender, a global defender, it, it's going to hurt. Okay? So I'm sitting here right now. I'm looking, and I'm like, hmm. So I can't use Nick Fury. That's out. He's going to go immune to the uh, bleed. And I'm also uh, talking in the chat, or looking at the chat, to make sure of what I need to do after this okay so I'm like man now I gotta heal some more have you guys ever seen me heal this much in a war it's ridiculous and I don't think I show it here but over in the loyalty I think I I bought all of the health potions for the uh, level fours I think I got them all okay so here we go healing them up this has already become a very expensive war, and I didn't even die. That is stupid. It's ridiculous. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go in, and you know he's a, a, a big boy, right? All right, so here we go. And unblockable. But I can block him. And I try to evade out of his special one. Now, right there, I did intercept, but who cares? All right? And I'm trying to avoid as much block damage as I can. Right now, he's winning the health race. And I did a special one, and I'm like, hmm, that didn't do enough. So let's try a different special. Okay? Now... If I remember correctly, my special two does incinerate. Okay, look at that. See, I'm blocking. It doesn't incinerate, and he uh, will go immune to it. So here we go again. He's just firing them specials off. But OG Iron Man, after they've reworked him, that's why I wasn't upset at getting uh, OG Iron Man. Okay, so I'm looking at the health, and I'm like, okay. That did a decent amount of damage. 
But that also put an incinerate on him. So he's going to go immune to that. All right. But it, it did a decent amount of damage. There. He's incinerate immune now. So now I'm trying to, you know, just basically block my way. Just look at this, man. It's just ridiculous. Thankfully, uh, OG Iron Man can really take some punishment into his block. He gets a high block proficiency uh, during their special. So he's perfect for this. All right. Can you imagine if, if I didn't have um, the ability to block those unblockables? Be ridiculous. I mean, I hope they fix it. There are a lot of, um, that I've heard, a lot of uh, alliances that are no longer even pushing. They're treating it like an off-season um, season. Just go in, put some strong defenders up, don't bother um, using up a lot of resources, and just revive and, and try to do your best. And that's it. But we got him down. And look at my health again. Every single fight, and I didn't even take, I don't, I don't think um, I got any hits. If you look on the other fights, I don't think any of them hit me. But yet, I'm healing up as if they did. That's crazy. All right. Now, next up, I got Danny Moonstar. And I'm not going to use OG Iron Man because of the uh, node, um, high energy diet, I think it is, where they will heal back if you use energy attacks. So we are going to do some nuking. Yeah, high energy diet. All right, so we're going to do some nuking right here. And I already know I'm going to get hit. So... We're going to just try to get her down before she uh, takes us out. All right. Here we go. There you go. But I put that indestructible on for a reason. I just wanted to last a little longer. Come on. Keep going. Okay. Yep. Got the intercept. Okay. We're good. Yeah. There we are. Bam. Whew. That seems to be the way they want us to play okay using up a bunch of healing and using nukes to take them down <clears throat> accepting the um hits to the face you know I, I don't know i don't know this this war season if they don't fix it it's it's ridiculous it is uh, but anyway, that, those are all the fights that I had to do for this war. And I'm putting on the uh, Odin pre-fights um, as instructed. And let me tell you, the war is actually pretty close. And we've had some other things happen. I'll talk to you more about it when we come back and find out how this war ended. back and surprisingly we won oh my goodness guys i we did not know whether we were going to win this one or not this was an ugly war all right let me tell y'all a little bit about what happened uh you can see the defender diversity they didn't care about defender diversity they just wanted to put up really strong defenders global uh defenders and hope we uh just died a lot it just made for a very expensive uh, war. All right. Now, shout out to our, whoops, shout out to our uh, MVPs here. But look at the participants. Y'all notice anything? We were down one man. The reason we were down one man is we discovered one of our guys was employing someone else to do some things for him. And we were not going to risk that, okay? And so we had to let him go. Right in the middle of uh, the banquet and uh, right in the middle of the war season and all that good stuff. Um, we've got somebody else in, but <clears throat> we'll take a, um, 
prestige hit, so we'll probably get, you know, less rewards in um, um, Alliance Quest, but it is what it is. Uh, very difficult to find someone at this point in time, you know, with the banquet going on and everything, with the war season already started, so we basically got what we could get. All right? <clears throat> so very surprising that we actually won this one. Uh, we didn't know how to calculate, you know, <clears throat> we knew they were going to get free, you know, ABs, but we didn't know what their diversity was. We knew it was really bad, but we didn't know how bad, you know. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.